It's official, the LHC is the most powerful accelerator in the world. Last night, Sunday, November 29, at 9.55 p.m., Beam 1 was ramped up to the record energy of 1.08 tera electron volt. The previous record of 0.98 tera electron volt was held until yesterday by Fermilab's Tevatron since 2001. At 8.45 p.m., the Dream Team was in place Engineer in charge was Verena Kind on her last shift before maternity leave. So we are in circulating in damping, huh? Yeah. Did you get a shot? Yeah. Oh, you got a shot, okay. At 9.33, the beam was still in the SPS, waiting for the RF team to finish the synchronization with the magnets. At 9.40, it was still no go from the RF. But then events accelerated at the same pace as the beam, and it was once again a fantastic escalation. At 9.43 p.m., Beam 1 was finally injected into the LHC at the SPS energy of 450 giga electron volts. Ramping started immediately and at 9.55 p.m., in less than 15 minutes, it reached first 9.05 GeV and in less than a minute, 9.80 and finally 1.08 tera electron volts. And this time we were more courageous even than the last time and decided not to dump on the fly as we did last time and we almost made it all the way up. The new world record. <laughs> and it's uh, really fantastic. And it's really, really fantastic. The reason why this all worked so well this time is that we already got a much better understanding of the machine. So we have lots of parameters already in a fairly good shape. And we can also do something which is called pre-cycling to get some reproducer in the machine. So we are actually um, we are on track. At 11 p.m., a new team took over the shift in the CCC, and at midnight, when both beams came back into the LHC, the decision was taken to ramp them both to a new record. Ramping of beam 1 and beam 2 started at midnight 33, and already at midnight 42, the record energy of 1.18 tera electron volt per beam was reached. We put in some corrections and we tried again this time with two beams in the machine and uh, we had both beams up to top energy 1.18 tev, two beams. We didn't expect to do it as quickly as that. Huh? We took the corrections that we did from the first ramp, fed them in to the second attempt and uh, yeah, this went much, much quicker than we, than we dared hope. And at one in the morning on Monday, November 30, both beams were still circulating at that record energy until they were dumped 45 minutes later. To know what's next, keep following CERN everywhere on cyberspace.